Welcome to the Geek on My Sleeve channel. In this video, he and I are going to be doing the ever so popular, we keep talking about it, finally getting to it, the official Knight's Radiant Order Quiz. And this quiz can be found on Brandon Sanderson's official website. We've been talking about doing this quiz since uh, we started our buddy read. Really looking forward to Rhythm of War coming out this month. And I've personally taken this quiz when it first came out, but I thought it would be a lot of fun for Peter and I to help ourselves or help each other do it because um, probably would be a little bit more honest coming from each other and get a better better result so we're just going to rock on through this going down each one helping each other out so yeah first one heart on sleeve or poker face so this is kind of tricky for myself because it's very situational like when I initially keep full, I'm pretty poker face where I kind of feel out the situation. But once I get like a good group of people or people that I know well, I'm very open with it and direct. So, yeah, I I think that's fair. Like as far as like um, if I took this as, you know, the average Joe walking up and being able to kind of like read our emotions, I think we're both more poker face than hard on our sleeve. But within like our, our group, we kind of tell it like it is. But I'm taking this more as like, you know, outside looking in. Um, I think you lean a little more towards hard on the sleeve because you don't really you pull I your lead? you don't really pull your punches. That's that's true, and this is why we're doing it together. So what do you think I should do? Hard on sleeve 65? That sounds fair. I put mine 75 poker. 75 poker, and I'm more... I'll do 70 hard on my sleeve, because you're right. Um, Yeah, yeah. Sometimes forget that filter. So... Um, you know, obviously we're not the same, but I think we both lean more confident than need reassurance. Um, I think sometimes I could be a bit confident to a fault. If there's a doubt, you have to seize it. So, mm -hmm. you know, I don't like people being all flippy floppy. I'm going to put that at 80 because, you know, yeah. there are times where I'm like, you know what? I don't know. I'm going to Google it. I I went 85 because one of my favorite quotes that I really uh, embraced young was, if I don't know who's in charge, then I am. Or I thought it was, if you don't know who's in charge, you're in charge. All right. Cautious or daring? You know, I'll, I'll say that you're you're pretty cautious at times, but I'm going to put you more on the daring side you i think you definitely lead more daring than cautious um mr really? i'm gonna go skate oh yeah I oh mean, yeah like, like adrenaline and junkie doing all the the crazy stunts you did when you were younger yeah yeah you're definitely a lot more daring than i am you've definitely broken a lot more bones doing more daring things than i have I'm not saying you're not cautious, but if we had to do two sides of the same coin, True. I think you take more risks. Yeah, and then I guess you would be further cautious where you always have yeah. a solid foundation and, you know, eight moves ahead. Try to be, try to be. That's further down the line, but yeah, yeah. What would you say um, for me on cautious daring? 60 40 yes 60 40 sounds good because okay some of your caution takes daring kind of like stocks for example like mm -hmm. it's a very cautious mm -hmm. save your money you know make your money work for you but it's kind of daring because 
and it's gone. So take risks. Yeah. 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 I'm with you there. All right. Library or dojo? I mean, we are book geeks, but um, we're also we're athletes. Uh, I, you know, I might one. leave that at a 50 50 because, like, while I'm physically doing things, I'm listening to things. So it's not like this is true. A library? I guess if it was saying, like, physically read things versus doing physical actions, I would lean mm -hmm. all the way towards doing physical actions. Mm -hmm. But. If you count audiobooks, there's never a time that I'm not listening to stuff. And when I mm -hmm. tell people that I like the voices in my head better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm right there with you. I'll probably leave it 50-50 yeah. because sure enough, when I'm riding my bike, getting my cardio in, I'm, I'm geeking out to some books. So... Wolf pack versus lone wolf. So like wolf pack, you know, the unit or do things on your own. I think we um, both lean a little more towards lone wolf. Do you think so? I was going to say the other. Oh. Um, but you, you tell me why. I mean. At least for me personally, I always say I'm happy as long as I have four walls and high speed internet. This is true. This is true. And so, for me, I guess I'm more of an introvert versus an extrovert where mm -hmm. I can do people only for so long, but then mm -hmm. I need my solo time to recharge. That's true. That's true. So what, like you do 70 lone wolf? Maybe more? What were you thinking? I'd probably put it more 80-20. Because, 80, like, 20. the wolf packs that I have have a stable foundation and I've been built up and it took me a while to get there. So, okay. Yeah. Or you, what would you put? I think, would be it'd be a little bit more wolf pack just because, like, you enjoy leading them where mm -hmm. I lead them when I have to. I'm with you. I think for me, a, a 60 40 split and you a 20 80 split is good now the next one i'm kind of curious on on your feedback i personally think you're definitely more of the peacemaker um you can rock the boat at times being a firebrand but um thinking back to like social situations you're always the one that's um you know quick to to find empathy in the situation and Common ground. Yeah. You disagree? I, no, I'd agree with that. I try to keep the peace, be, mm -hmm. mainly because when people hit that tipping point where they're more mad than rational, nothing productive mm -hmm. comes of it because they get so locked into their mental state that they can't see the bigger picture. So once mm -hmm. you calm them down, then yeah. you can you can mold it. And then the firebrand is just like when they're so riled up and nothing's getting through, some days you just have to push them off the cliff so that you can <laughs> reset them. So you think uh eighty twenty for you on that? Yeah. Yeah. Where would you put me? I definitely feel I lean a little bit more firebrand. Well, your firebrand is more of a leadership firebrand where I have the you just flex on them where you're like, I have the experience. Mm. I know what I'm talking about. How about you try it? After you've tried it, then you can make your own opinion because you have a little bit of experience. Sure, sure. So how how much firebrand should I go? I don't know. I'm thinking like it's still a uh, probably 40 60 because at the end of the okay. day it's designed to make peace because then you can operate 
but mm. it's typically more headstrong where you know you're flexing on them yeah i'm with you all right spiritual skeptical so i think we both enjoy going devil's advocate on most things so that's skeptical um that's the way i read this the spiritual i'm i'm thinking more just like put faith in the decision or play the skeptic and yeah, i feel like I guess we devil's both advocate. Mean more skeptic so um i don't know 2080 yeah yeah is that where you go yeah just because i enjoy breaking things and i enjoy uh, counterpoints and it's not yes. that i don't agree with people it's more that you can get more out of someone by giving them opposition to fully form their idea behind mm -hmm. because yet again that's more of the people being stuck in their rut all right leader versus facilitator um that's a complicated one because you lead by doing or yeah. by what you have done i think it's very yeah. situational we both find ourselves in leadership roles more often than not um but yeah like you said there's different ways to lead right there's lead by example and then there's leading by being the number two person to reinforce the number one right mm, i would think more like outside hire versus hire through the company mm. like you can step back and lead them, but it's because you've already facilitated and understand it 100% to be able to do it, explain it, execute it, tweak it yeah. through your leadership. I'm, I'm going to throw myself maybe 90-10. Is that fair? Yeah, that's fair. Okay. What are, you, what are you doing for yourself? I don't know. I put it 70-30. Guard dog versus alley cat. I'm not sure exactly what it means by that, but like, oh, what is it? The land. You mess with me, you mess with my whole crew. But at the same time, like, if you're not my wife and you don't pay my bills, I don't give a flying sill spear. I definitely think we both lead guard dog, but even with that analogy you just gave, like you're still guard dog, but just maybe in like a smaller pack, right? True. Um, I'm gonna put seventy five twenty five for myself. Mm, sixty forty makes sense for me. So this next one's kind of interesting too. Same thing. Thinking back to the analogy you made, right? Like. Uh, it could be compassionate at times, but at the same time, like you said, you're you're not my my lady. You don't pay my bills. You know, why should I care what you think? Mm, I guess percentage wise, that's more dispassionate. Right. It's like super compassionate about what I care about, but because I don't mm -hmm. care about you, I'm dispassionate. Makes me think of the Jackson quote right i don't hate you a lot of people seem to think i have the time and energy for that nope i either like you or don't think about you at all why would i give someone else power over me like that nah gosh that's a hard one i'm tempted to leave it 50 50 all right heart heart and head um i think we both tend to lean more with our head than our heart yeah for sure um i almost feel like sometimes to a fault um but you know you again thinking back to the earlier ones you're pretty good at being able to find that empathy with others 
Yeah, but I do it by logic. Yeah, I I try to play devil's advocate. That way I can give them counterpoint so they can fully develop their, you know, viewpoint. I'm going to go 2080. Yeah, that's what I put. But I don't like things that don't logically plan out or don't logically make sense. Flamboyant or reserved? I'm going to say we both probably lean reserved. Question is how reserved. I think I've become more expressive as I've gotten older, um, but I still feel lean pretty reserved. Yet again, it seemed like I wouldn't say flamboyant because I'm not necessarily like that outgoing. So I tend mm -hmm. towards reserve, but at the same time, when I'm trying to deal with the situation, I get, you know, passionate about trying to get my view or my point across that's true so i put that's true. 40 60 just you know to tilt that way mm, i was leaning 25 75 am i going too much maybe ease it back to 30 70 i guess that makes sense though because you are reserved unless it's necessary yeah I'll keep it 25.75. So letter of the law or spirit of the law? Or is it purely in the literal sense or where it's coming from in its initial intent? I think you're more spirit of the law. It's the quote you say where sometimes it's better to ask for forgiveness than to ask for permission. Then you can say sorry not sorry later mm-hmm mm-hmm so i put 30 70 because it's not like i'm gonna break the law i'm not gonna be like no that's stupid i'm not gonna do it but right. i might do it to a different beat of a drum kind of deal well uh, yeah i i think we both focus on like what was the intention or the purpose of this yeah um not getting caught up on the minutia of it it's simply like hey this is here to protect people so let's think about how we could be smart and make sure everybody's safe no i'm not going to get hung up on the fact that you know you're using something that's not technically written in specs if you follow the procedure and we're making sure everybody's safe let's move on with what we need to do yeah um yeah free-spirited and disciplined um gosh i think we both lean disciplined and that's what i was gonna say yeah because like if something isn't broken, don't fix it. So that's where the mm -hmm. discipline comes in. But then, mm -hmm. if you couldn't tell, I'm kind of ADD, and I'm using a new mic. For no reason other than I had it, I bought it, I tried it, it didn't work. Yeah. I got bored, I tried something new, so that's just kind of uh... whimsical. Okay. Oh. Obedient. So sorry, where were we? Rebellious. Forty sixty. Uh, I did twenty eighty. Maybe uh, I need to roll that back. Thirty seventy. I can say thirty seventy. Yeah. Obedient, rebellious. So many of these are situational, though. Yeah. Like, I I I rebel with a purpose. Um, which kind of goes with the spirit of the law bit, but I'd say obedient 60-40. Makes sense. Um, and I would say you probably lean more obedient. Yeah, I put me at 70-30. Yeah. 
Because yeah. as much as I like to play Devil's Advocate, it serves a purpose of making it orchestrate better or operate mm-hmm. efficiently. Mm-hmm. Dependable versus flexible. Or you skipped one. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you're right. Creative or conventional. Um... So again, very situational, but I think we both lean on the he- heavy on the creative side. Yeah, that's what when I was it comes say. to problem solving. Well, um, that's just a big part of leadership is being able to see a situation, address it, go through your mentad troubleshooting checklist, mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. at the same time you've got to be quick on your feet and find creative solutions because when you start to think that you've seen everything, you're wrong. Mm -hmm. And that's not possible. So you have to be very creative to find a solution. Plus with life as it is today, I would say trying to run a YouTube channel is pretty creative. Yes, a lot of people have done it, but you have to be everything. You have to be the... Yep. Yeah. So I lean yep. more towards creative. Put it 70-30. Okay. For me. I did for myself 85-15. And while, like, you know, we talk about if it ain't broke, don't, don't fix, fix it. it. Um, But I'm also a big believer in simply because that's the way we've always done it doesn't mean there's not a better way we can do it. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, uh, continual progression. Mm-hmm. Dependable, flexible. So while I feel we're both pretty flexible with stuff, I think we both lead pretty dependable of the two. Um. Well, that's. Kind of... uh, that's another weird one. Like, dependable. I will do the job that I said I will do. I will complete Mm -hmm. the task at hand. But Mm -hmm. Lexi, eh, I guess I'm not. I I I wouldn't say I'm super flexible. Because if you, some days, like, I have to have plan A, B, C, and D. And yes, Uh there's flexibility between them. But Uh other days, if like right when I wake up, I haven't had my coffee yet and you're already throwing a bunch of problems at me, I'm not very flexible. I'm just kind of like, I'm done. Mm. Hold on. Walk away, get my coffee, wake up. And then Mm -hmm. then I'm dependable. But that's more situational, I guess. I think you're much more on the dependable side and I'm probably going to put that for me as well simply because like, yeah, while we're flexible when it comes to our, our um, commitments or our oaths or our obligations, we're going to always come down on the side of like commitments made and dependability over the flexibility, make those exceptions. Right. Yeah, so eighty um, twenty. Yeah, I think that's fair. I'll probably put eighty twenty for me too. Oh man. I don't know, dude. This is hard for you. I I see both sides of this coin. Just real quick. I've been thinking about this for a while and I need to make a video of it. So my baby daughter's name is Skylar Rose. And so Skylar, if you take sky, you put your head in the clouds and rose (laughs) for the beauty of it. But if you break it even Uh, further and you do sky, so head in the clouds, lair, I tweaked it to say lair, because the lair is where your heart is and how you keep your head on the ground. And then rose just for like the growth and beauty and complexity of it all. Yeah. So I feel like in a work situation, I'm very down to earth, you know, 
troubleshoot, figure it out. But in reality, in real life, I'm heading to clouds because I can't accept things as they are. Even in work, though, like while you're able to get stuff done, your mind is still like in space or slaying dragons or whatever. So I'm, I'm definitely putting you more head in the clouds. All right, so 100% head in the clouds. Uh, I don't know if I'd go that, but at least 2080. Right. Um, I feel like my head's not as much in the clouds. I think I definitely lean more down to earth. Yeah. Um, but I don't know if I'm quite at 80, 20, maybe 70, 30, 75, 25. I like 70 30. Because I feel 70, like you 30. can creatively solve. Eh, I guess it might be an 80 20. Might be an 80 20. Okay, 80 20. Thinks outside the box or colors inside the lines. We were raised to think outside. What are these lines you speak, uh, or speak of? Lines are meant to be colored outside of. So if I can't find something, I'll Google it. So that's kind of like <laughs> inside the lines because someone has already created the lines. No. But you need to no. apply it to your situation. So it's kind of like you take their template and you apply it to you, which ends up outside of it because everybody's mm -hmm. different and in different situations. So I put 100% outside the box. Yeah. I'll go 95. Eh, I guess. I don't know. Uh, go, go ahead, 100. 100, 100. All right. All right. This is going to be a challenge. Tense or relax? So um, I would lean personally more relax, just because that's the only way I operate efficiently. I agree with that. But for you, I might lean a little bit more tense. Let's let's be honest. How often do I not have anything on my plate? Yeah, exactly. So. But you thrive <laughs> with the tension. You thrive I do. due to I do. planning it all out and having a goal and executing upon it. Where for me, like I just go into information overload and I can't keep things inside the line. So between the ADD and everything, I'm more relaxed when I take a project and I dissect it into smaller mm -hmm. projects. I I say all the time, you're the, the yin to my yang, man. So where where are we at on this? Uh, how tense am I to relax? Um, the, I think it's it's a slightly tense for you because like 70, it 30. is tension. But it's not really because it's more motivation. Okay. And then for you, we we agreed you lean more relaxed. So are you? Am I seventy thirty and you're you're thirty seventy? Makes sense. Because with the tension, I have to readdress to figure <laughs> it out and to relax. Mm hmm. So here, here's the real test: decisive versus indecisive. We'll we'll let people call us out. Can I be decisively indecise? <laughs> we'll see how, if people call us out off based off of uh, our quiz up until this point. I'm I'm going to put myself heavy on the decisive side. Like once yeah. I make up my mind, I'm really hard to shift off like i want to say i'm open minded to things but like once i'm locked in um 80 20 seem fair yeah that seems fair for you yeah. you're pretty good at making a decision and that's kind of like what i was talking about earlier where putting out fires and the whole leadership bit like mm. even if you've never seen it before doing nothing is a decision so you need to decide yep. to execute to operate to get it all working where me like i struggle 
making a decision because I'm so ADD and possible opportunities. But then at the mm. same time, when I make a decision, I'm still ADDing and finding other ways to achieve the same goal in a different manner. Yeah. So I feel like that's it's not like I didn't come to a decision. I just changed the decision between tree A, tree B, C and D. Sure. Still still going down the path, but maybe willing to pivot a little bit. So what do you have it at? Like a sixty forty? Yeah, I was thinking sixty forty. Like stability versus likes change. Um I think most people do not like change. I want to say I'm open to change, um, but I do like my stability. I like stability, but I like to change things. I don't like things to be changed for me. Does that yeah. make sense? Yeah. Like, I thrive on the stability of... I can provide for my family with little to mm -hmm. no extra additional cognitive effort applied. But yeah. I'm also striving to create a YouTube channel and play with different microphones and, you know, check out different audio chain pathings to see if this all works. Mm hmm. So I like I... changing things. I just don't like things to be changed. I'm I'm going twenty five seventy five. Where are you at? I was gonna go sixty stability, forty change, because I tend okay. to frequently change things, which is and which is mm -hmm. why I can't set up any of my macros, because every time <laughs> I do, I manipulate uh, something. I was about to say. Now that I'm thinking about it, you like to break stuff so often. Okay, you might okay. need Other to lead a little bit, a little bit more change because I do change. Even as we frequently. were getting ready to film these videos, you have to go and change how you have your audio rerouted twelve ways till Sunday. Yeah, and then I figured out another layer of inception <laughs> that I might make a video on. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. So while I can be spontaneous at times, I am a planner through and through. Yeah. So you have um, to have it mapped out, which that's part of that whole like pressure, tension, making you successful. Mm hmm. I'm going to go 95 five. Yeah, I'd agree with that. For me, I'd be the other end where like yeah. no flat surface is safe. Hip. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I need to get better. Like, I struggle with planning. I struggle with mapping things out. And mm -hmm. some days I just work so much better just, like, turning on the camera and going. But other mm -hmm. days it just sounds like a mess. And I need to stop and back up and plan it out because it doesn't work without a map. I, I think this is where, like, your ADD helps you succeed in a lot of ways with just being so successful, being spontaneous. Yeah, yeah. I would yeah, say like you're, you're at it least doesn't work. a 2080. Yeah, that's what I have. Yeah, bam. End justifies the means versus honorable actions. Uh I feel like ends justify the means, and that kind of goes back to the oh, scrolling the letter of the law mm. and spirit of the law. Right. Because but you could also argue with like spirit of the law comes down to like honorable, the, yeah, the, the honorable and the intentions of it, right? Um. And the way I read this, like, end justifies the means, means, like, going against the end them. destination, the goals versus, like, the the steps along the way, like, the path you take. No, oh, journey um, you know. before destination. Sure, sure. So, um, I feel like honorable makes sense because, at least in the span of uh, the Stormlight Archives, their whole thing is sure. honor, 
you know, to get a sprint to do it, it's all your view of the situation. Yeah. I, in my mind, like, thinking about this in context would be, like, in the um, the business sense, which we both have experience in operations where, like, so often people focus on, like, the end result or the bottom line or, like, where you're supposed to get. Um, but I always lean towards, like, how you get the there actions yeah like how we get there like how you motivate people how you like it's the little the little impacts you make like okay. the little actions yeah, with the people to get to that final product right like I, um, okay i would agree with that where you're more on the honorable versus and justify the means and when you say it like that i get a little ticked at select companies where they say mm -hmm. something, but the reality is something else. For example, mm -hmm. safety's top priority when it's really quantity. Mm -hmm. You know, as much as safety matters and ergonomics matter, sure. we need to have a product to sell so that you can continue to have a job. But I yeah. like how you said it, where how you go about it, because everybody reacts it differently. Like mm -hmm. some people react well to you're disappointed in them and you know, they can do better. So they mm -hmm. feel the disappointment and it makes them thrive. Other people curl up in a ball and like, eh, they don't like me. So you got to do the other, you know, gentle handed action where you bring them up and you say, Hey, you know, I've seen you be successful in all these other ways. You know, I know you have it. How about you apply right. yourself? So. I put I put thirty seventy. What'd you put? I uh, I was sliding it. It's at forty sixty, but I'll probably go a little more thirty seventy. Okay. Playful <laughs> or serious? Uh, so I feel like everybody thinks I'm serious because I have I enjoy a lot of dry humor. So I'm when I say you. things to people. They don't understand that I'm joking, and that's where my, like, I'm seriously joking. So, I, I yeah. I feel uh, like it's I'd just how it comes both, across. Yeah, yeah, I'd say we both lean more serious than playful. Um, I would probably put myself a little bit more serious than you are at times. Um, I don't know. I'm going to go thirty seventy again for myself. Oh, I don't know twenty eighty, but okay. Uh, because like I guess it's situational. Because like, if I've got a foundation, I know the people, I know it. I'm pretty serious because I've done mm -hmm. it. But mm -hmm. when it's a new situation, I'm a little more serious because I'm still trying to feel it out where I feel like you could be dropped into a room of new people and be right at home and be very, I guess, playful, but at the same time, very serious. Cause like if it's a social yeah. environment, you could be playful and talk and bullshit with anyone. But if it's a work environment, you can be very nose to the grindstone. I know mm -hmm. what I'm talking about. Sell yourself and get the job, so, I don't know. I, yeah, I put it 20, 20, 80, and then on um, the go, next one, oh, sorry, what are you putting yours at? I'll put it at 25, 75. Okay. For the next one, I feel like um, referring back to our complete the completionist chronicles that sometimes I trigger hammer words with my truth. I'm, yes. Um, being being too direct at times. Um, so I'm going to go ninety ten. Okay, and, and I put eighty twenty because yeah, I feel like I run into the same situation where <laughs> in my mind. I should tell you this information that way you know it. I know you know mm -hmm. it, and now you can do something with it. 
people take offense mm-hmm. because they feel like it's a personal attack when that's not what it's intended to be. You know, for example, yeah. if you didn't complete your end of quarter station stuff and I say, hey, you left that machine off and they come back at me and they're like, oh, I wasn't done yet. OK. Good for you. Do yeah. your job. Like, yeah. I'm, it's not a personal attack. I'm just saying, hey, because. I guess in my mind, if I was to bend to the truth and I was just to go over and do it for you, you didn't learn yeah. anything because now you think that's acceptable. I don't feel good because I'm not your mother. And uh, yeah, so. so on this next one, do you even need my help with this or, or can you just put it at a 90 10? Well, likes to take things. Oh, okay. Likes to take things apart. If it's not broken, don't fix it. And, and so you're taking shit apart. Oh, taking stuff apart anyway. Like, uh, I yeah, yeah. You, you take it apart just to see how it works. That that's true. That is very true. So, would you say ninety ten? I think you're probably a ninety ten. I like it's it's I not even about fixing it. If it's, it's not just... broken, don't fix it. But that doesn't mean that it can't be improved. <laughs> and for me, I like logical. So mm. if it doesn't logically make sense, well, I got to see what's inside so that I can understand yeah. the logic so it does yeah. make sense. I think you're a 90-10, and I'm going to put myself at like a 25-75. Um. Because if it needs to be taken apart, I'm calling you. True, true. <laughs> but that's just because uh, of that management stuff where... Yeah. Oh, I think it's the land where he pretty much says being a leader is about finding people smarter than you and orchestrating them. And not necessarily... What What's up? I was about to say, when it comes to taking stuff apart and figuring out how they work, you are certainly smarter than I am when it comes to that stuff. Yeah, which then you're smarter about orchestrating it all and keeping me Mm. on the path because I'm going to ADD all over here in my little circle. Meanwhile, our strengths, right? Yeah, yeah, that's that's what makes a good team is dynamic range. I agree. If you're both good at one thing, and you're both doing that same thing, you're going to butt heads and mm-hmm. do the same thing. Do the work twice. Mm-hmm. If you're good at different things, then you can cover each other's weak points and make it all work. Hotel. As a team, amping. you amplify, right? Um, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah this, where is, this is box high-speed internet? <laughs> I was about to say, like, I enjoy camping on occasion, but I'm... Probably more hotel. Also, we're becoming old men, and even though we like sleeping in our hammocks, um, yeah. Well, yeah. that's why we have a hammock stand and can take it. Uh, yes. Oh, my hammock is smaller than my tent, and my hammock <laughs> has a rain slash mosquito net. Hmm. But that hotel has AC. High speed internet. And, and AC. internet. So 90 20? Yeah. That's 110 there. 80 20? Oh, yeah. Or 90 10. 90 10. Oh, I'm going to go 85 15. Um, oh, that outside world's scary. <laughs> but how else are you going to find? leprechauns and elves i'm going to be plugged into the internet a power uh, surge is going to happen or we're going to go to another world that has those things fencing or boxing is Wanna... that like bring a bigger stick yeah i was about to say like the way i read this like fencing you do your little pokes and jabs or boxing. You get in within grappling range and just throw punches, right? Mm. Is it a focused, a focused attack? I guess more. Or is it tactical 
versus brute force kind of deal. Mm, but, that's a good way to look at it. Like fencing, you don't, it's like death by a thousand cuts because you don't need to, I don't know, it's more about positioning your opponent by planning moves mm -hmm. ahead where boxing, mm -hmm. as much as that's a factor, it's more about, you know, just raw stats or mm -hmm. being able to execute. Yeah, there's block and whatnot, but yeah, it's more just quick reaction. Yeah. I don't know. Looking at it that way, I'm probably going to put myself 70-30. I was leaning more towards fencing just because, like, I don't know, I played tennis for a while there, mm -hmm. and as much as it's get the ball over the net, it's position the ball over the net. That way, it's away from your opponent, so they have to react further, which then puts them right. further from where you need them. That, okay. and I kind of get ticked off with select people brute forcing things and run into mm -hmm. someone at work who doesn't understand technology and is very old school like where you beat the TV so that it works and this isn't an antenna and smacking it is irrelevant so uh, that's how you fix technology isn't it you just hit it until it works uh, only if you have uh Oh, start the W. Warranty. Hmm, there you go. Because then you just send it off to someone else. <laughs> so I feel 80-20. I feel okay. like brute force has its place, but I kind of have to plan out for it. Yeah, yeah. I definitely lean, even though I find myself creative... I would not describe myself as artistic. Yeah. So I'm going to do 595. Okay. I ended up at 1090 because things have to make sense. They have to be logical. So that's scientific. But mm. I do like to take things apart and put them back together, which could be mm -hmm. artistic, I guess. But it's more scientific. Okay. I think 10, 1090 is fair for you. Book smart, street smart. I think we both lean street. Like, while we do consume a lot of audiobooks and everything, this is the difference between, like, academic versus practical. Yeah. Um, And... You know, we, we keep talking about our leadership experience and while we have read a lot when it comes to man or at least I've listened to a lot of like management and theory books, a lot of my experience is just in the trenches, um, learning by trial by fire. So Yeah, that's kinda where I feel I lean more towards street because mm -hmm. I'll run into I'm a situation to... and then I'll figure out that 20% I need to get me 80% of the way there. But yep. I don't... Yep. I ADD all over the place, so I can't really be super knowledgeable about every situation. So yeah, mm -hmm. I think it's more street where it's not getting overloaded on everything and just finding relative information. Mm -hmm. so I put 30, 70... Because some days you just gotta dive deep into everything to make it work. Paladin versus Rogue. The Holy Knight or the Scoundrel that sneaks about and steals? I feel more Paladin. Just kind of back to the beginning for trying to make things work. So have that sympathy and empathy to, you know, put up mm -hmm. the shield and heal them. Mm -hmm. Paladins also have a code, right? Or rogues, not so much. True. 
Um, so, gosh, I'm going to go 70 30. Will you put yours at? I don't know yet. Man, we'll go 80 20 because having things work makes sense. But at the other hand, Sometimes you just need to dive behind enemy lines and get it done yourself. It's true. Uh, knife in the dark. Get her done. Yep. So, I consider myself pretty competitive. Yeah. I would lean more so competitive. And I think that just lines up with my... Was it serious versus uh, or play ball versus serious where I tend to be very serious, but you know, my casual is also apparently serious or dry humor esque. Yeah. How competitive am I, Pete? Hmm. I don't know. I'd put it between 80 and 70. Yeah. I was going to place it higher, so I'll go 80. 80 20. And where am I at? You can be pretty competitive, but you're also casual. Right? Like, I guess when I think in gaming context, I could see you game casually. Um. 70-30 or 60-40? I, I would go 70-30. Right. You're, you're definitely competitive. But when I think of like gaming, when I play, I have to limit myself only to a couple games at a time just because I'm competitive. So I want to be good at it. Um, all right. Last one. Transparency... Or need to know. Mm -hmm. So I feel like the whole geek on my sleeve bit, it's pretty transparent because we wear it on our sleeve. But mm -hmm. in the reality of the rest of my life, it's kind of like a need to know. Because if you're not yeah. my wife or you don't pay my bills, then I'm not going to waste my time and effort. So... Well, but at the same time, I feel transparent because, like, I'm almost honest to a fault where if you ask me, I'm going to tell you. Mm -hmm. But at the same mm -hmm. time, I'm going to probably ask for forgiveness before I ask for permission. So in that sense, it's a need to know. But if you ask, I'm pretty transparent. Yeah, I think we're both like, even though here we are on the Internet doing a video going through and rating our different characteristics for this this quiz like we can be transparent we can you know be transparent when people ask for information but in most aspects of our lives we're pretty private um so was like, like a 40 60 or a 30 70 I would say 40-60. Yeah? Yep. So, click the button. Say the words. Life before death. Strength before weakness. Journey before destination. Oh, wow. What'd you get? Windrunner. I got Windrunner, too. <laughs> Uh, that's surprising because there were ones that we um we switched on. Take to the skies. Uh, that's pretty cool. You are a wind runner, which gives you access to the surges of adhesion and gravitation. Adhesion allows you to bind things together. 
Gravitation allows you to change the direction and strength of an object's gravitational attraction, including that of yourself, which essentially gives you the power of flight. Uh, that was fun, dude. Yeah. So, yeah. Highly recommend you guys check out this Knight's Radiant Quiz on brandonsanderson.com. We'll include the link in the descriptions below, including um, also our Discord link, our website link, and all the other fun links you should check out below. Hope to geek out with you here soon. <laughs>